Welcome back to The Good Life. I think this is probably going to be the last part of the game that we tackle. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what Naomi does here because of course we have this crazy mad scientist who is, you know, threatening to turn all the townspeople permanently into cats and dogs. And this villain kind of just came out of nowhere, to be honest. Like he wasn't really in the story and then all of a sudden he just popped up out of nowhere like oh, I'm going to turn you all into cats and dogs I don't know I'm not completely behind it it just seemed a little bit out of the blue then again I guess this whole game is out of the blue so <laughs> this game is random it looks like we have to talk to like every single towns person in this game this can take a while we have to convince every single towns person to help us uh, fight against Morning Bell which is this evil news corporation that is working with the evil scientists so let's see how this goes right then. Off with you. how easily we crumble under the devil's temptations what <laughs> I think that was him saying that, you know, you betrayed us, so why would we believe anything that you say? Because obviously we kidnapped a couple of the townspeople to, um, you know, get money, so I'm not quite sure if they're going to believe us. Hey, please don't talk to me. Oh my gosh, and now nobody's going to believe Naomi when she speaks to them. I kind of had a feeling that this would be how it went, but it's really sad seeing it for myself because, you know, now the townspeople are going to suffer for it. But Naomi does deserve this treatment, I'm not going to lie. She shouldn't have done what she did. So, so when you? do you think you'll be getting out of our hair? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, maybe we don't have to talk to all of them then. I get the feeling you're not flavour of the month around here anymore, Naomi. Are you surprised, Naomi? Really? What did you do, girl? Don't worry, though. They're not mean enough to take the house away from you. So if you get a bit peckish or need a nap, you can still head home. Well, at least that's one nice thing, I guess. <laughs> not sure I'd recommend it. But Dr. Anderson might even give you some food if you're desperate. No, I think I'm okay. I don't think we need to go begging to Mr. Anderson. Does that mean I can't, like, buy anything from, like, the pub and all that stuff? Is that why he said that? Maybe. I guess it's a possibility, I suppose. Oh, we got some rocking music to uh, help us get through this depressing part of the game where no one will talk to me. Looks like I have to do all the residents after all. Even though we already know they're not going to talk to us. Oh my god, it's got lyrics. I bet there's copyright for this song. <laughs> oh boy. Yo, got a minute? You're still here? I'd vacate myself from the premises if I were you. Oh boy. Okay then, let's get out of here. This music's really loud as well, um, for sure. But let's have a little look around. I have no idea what the song is either. Like, I've got no idea. All right, into Fancy and Bunny, and we'll see what uh, Victoria, is she called? Let's see what she says. She's probably going to be hating on us as well. This sleepy lady. Oh, Virginia. That was close. <laughs> Yo, you ended up being even more of a prat than I took you for. Well, at least she's honest and straight to the point. This this soundtrack's really distracting. I'm just gonna turn it right down. <laughs> really, really distracting me for sure. It's really loud. All right, let us continue to um, get rejected by all the townspeople. It's like we're gonna get to talk to the townspeople one last time, right? That's what it feels like. Oh, it's this dude. Hey, you got a minute? I've lost all faith in you, Private Hayward. You'd best make yourself scarce. Oh boy, we don't even have a good favour with that dude. Uh, was there somebody else in here? Oh, the bartender. Uh, yo, get out of here. <laughs> I am so unloved right now. <laughs> no, you should have thought this through, Naomi, you silly, silly girl. 
All right, it might be a bit of a pain to talk to all of these residents. I hope not, but I really don't know. Oh, had a bit of a lag spike there. Uh, hello, Jan. Hey, you broke your poor auntie's little heart. Shoo, shoo, away with you. Ah, damn it. <laughs> all right, we're going to go into the town hall now. There's only a couple more characters to go go from the looks of it George Henry and Salome that we have to talk to do we not have to talk to Rita is she not included I wonder why that's a little odd she's not even in here uh where is Rita I wonder where did she go I don't know um oh no don't you dare talk to me you revolting little worm oh damn that's probably the worst insult we've had so far I have to say <laughs> That made me feel a bit grimy on the inside. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had to do what Naomi wanted to do. I tried to tell her, but she wouldn't listen to me. Oh, gosh. I really thought that she was going to change her mind, to be honest. I didn't think she was going to go through with the kidnapping thing, but clearly I was very, very wrong. <laughs> She'll do anything to clear this debt of hers, it seems. But yeah, I do think that this game is just like, sort of like, one big lesson for Naomi. I'm pretty sure like that's what, you know, it's going for. So let's hope she learns something after this that you can't just take advantage of everyone, you know. Here's Henry. Hey, Grandpa. Uh, he does not want to talk to me. He's not playing his violin for me at all. So, oh, what was that? <laughs> something just fell. I have no idea what that was. Something just fell off my desk. I think it's g g g g ghosts <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, anyway, let's talk to George. It's probably nothing important, so it's probably fine. <laughs> it will be fine. All right, let's go see what George says. I'm sure he's not going to talk to me either. Oh, he's eating his lunch over here, it seems. Hello? Um, I have nothing to say to you. You'd best leave town as soon as you're able. Oh man, well, that's all the residents spoken to, so let's see what happens now then. Now that we've gotten that depressing part of the game over. Oh my gosh. Oh no, not this guy. This is like double whammy depression right here. Lobster. Seriously, what a time for him to appear. Like, of any moment... In this game, this has to be the worst time to deal with this dude. Seriously. You're the last person I want to see right now. Exactly. I, I really feel you're right there, Naomi. <laughs> hey, what's your game? How am I the last person? There ain't anyone out there who can do a cooler pose than me. Dudes, you're just embarrassing. Stop embarrassing yourself, please. Like, you were mildly funny the first time I saw you, and then the second time and the third time, and all the million other times, you were just annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but you were. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, you don't seem yourself today, yuppie. You sure you got what it takes to keep on keeping on out, out there? Oh, I know. I'm going to take a picture so you can see just how much of a loser you look like today. Great, that's just what she needs. She just needs just to feel even more guilty and depressed. Do whatever you want. Damn, something's really got you down. Don't tell me you're thinking about quitting the newspaper business. I think that might be the last of her problems. <laughs> I might be at this rate. Huh? What did you just say? You think a talentless scrub like you could ever make a living doing anything other than smithing words? And you still have that big debt, don't you? Why would you throw away the only good thing you've got going for you? I don't want to, but... Enough whimpering already. Just tell me what happened, yuppie. I'll give you a little counselling session for free, just this once. I wonder why he cares. <laughs> I guess he started to enjoy these encounters that we've been having with each other, I suppose. <sighs> well, you see, blabbity blabbity blue. Will he really buy this? Why are you laughing? Serves you right, Benedict Arnold. I know I deserve it, okay? You don't need to rub it in. You don't get it, dummy. They're not trying to ostracize you. What? They're still being kind to you even though you don't friggin' deserve it. They are. What? <laughs> Come on, you stole stuff and even kidnapped people. If, you, if we were anywhere else, you would already be in the can by now. That's true. But not a single one of them turned you in, right? They just told you to leave. Oh. 
took you long enough. Now that you figured it out, you know what you really need to do, right? Yeah, I need to stop Morning Bell. I need to take responsibility for what happened and stop those guys. Otherwise, I'll just be accepting the death of journalism. Social media gave everyone the ability to become a news source themselves, but without justice, the news business will crumble like a pillar of dust. We're real pros. We need to use the power of the news to stop evil from screwing everything up. I wonder what her plan is. Ugh, just how stupid are you? You think that has anything to do with being a real pro? Oh, right. It was still a pretty good speech though. I don't usually say this, but it brought a little tear to my eye. A tiny one. But still, <laughs> out of respect for that wicked speech of yours, I think I might just help you out on this one, yuppie. Daniel, really? Wow, she actually addressed him on a first name basis. I'm impressed. You freaking child ahead. It's still too early to be thanking me. I mean, we can't clean up this whole mess by ourselves. Now can we? So who are we going to get to help us? I don't know. We need to find someone in town who's willing to help out. Got any ideas, yuppie? Someone in town who's willing to help out? Hmm. I don't know. Nobody seems to want to, to talk to us. True. Oh, William? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, good idea. Yeah, he might be willing to help us. I'd honestly rather not, but it seems as if I have no choice. I know, I know. So just let me start off by apologizing. I'm really, really sorry. I'm not ready to accept your apology just yet. But I will, nonetheless. Because there's one thing I know for sure. You really were trying to solve the mystery behind my beloved sister's death and nothing will change that. We really, really were and I really still want to. Why is it in the past tense? I, I don't like that. <laughs> Thanks, I really appreciate it. Lizzie sure is lucky to have a big brother who knows how to listen to reason. Alright Lucy, it's meeting time. Lucy? But she's... Hmm, so it seems these two know each other then, I guess. I kind of thought that Lucy was still on our side, just with that little secret coded message with that dog thing. I don't even know, um, so that little story thing. I, I knew she was after she said that. Come on, yuppie, don't tell me you didn't notice. Huh? Notice what? Didn't Lucy mention the Dick Whittington story to you? Yeah, like that was a big giveaway like a massive giveaway <laughs> now that you mention it she did that's the story about the guy who made bucoop bucks thanks to his cat and used it all for charity right so by that lucy's trying to say that there's a way to use morning bell's evil plans to do some good you idiot it was all a code <laughs> silly Interesting, it seems that our rival, Daniel, had a bigger role than I was expecting, like behind the scenes, it looks like. Maybe he was trying to stop this whole morning bell madness, like this whole time, I don't know. <laughs> Ain't that right, Lucy? All right, I like Lucy. Uh, she's been really kind to us in the emails. I love his computer. I love how he's got secret one, secret two, seeks to secret three, lobster. <laughs> What a weirdo. Yes, Daniel, that's exactly what I meant. Deep down, you knew you could still trust me, right, Naomi? I mean, we've got to have allies somewhere, otherwise, how would we take down the big morning bell, right? Y yeah, of course. Of course I did. I was like, yep, that's my Lucy. I knew I could always count on her. Like hell you did, Naomi. <laughs> oh my god. What are you looking at me like that for? I'm glad to see that your spirits have been lifted a bit, Naomi. <laughs> uh, thanks. Now, let's get down to business. All right, what's the plan, guys? I want to know what we're going to do to take these guys down. Before I begin, I'd just like to make one thing clear. I don't think that physically stopping the stream will get us anywhere. Okay, after they deal with us, they'll just try and do the same thing again. Instead, we, may, we need to make sure that their plans end up benefiting us instead. They know that the stream will incite criticism and they've even worked that into their plan. But what if it ends up inciting more backlash than they're prepared for? Okay, okay, I like where you're going with this and how we're going to do that. We can utilize that to get the people on our side. <laughs> 
Yes, what a plan. Modern and unhinged. I love it. But what exactly do we need to do? Imagine what would happen if they fired the ray at the townspeople when they were already transformed. They were turned back into people, right? A strange laser beam being fired at cute little dogs and cats and nothing happens. What would people think? Oh, they would have already have been turned into cats and dogs permanently at that point, right? Yeah, that would shock people and scare people because then they'd be like, Oh my god, I can't turn back into a human. So uh, yeah, that'd be terrifying. Oh, Lucy Turner. I dare say you're no less crafty than Richard III himself. The people will tear their stream apart. After all, at that point, it'll be nothing more than a broadcast of animal abuse. That wasn't what I was thinking that people would think if you were to do that. I thought people would be scared because they'd be like, oh my god, we can't turn back, but maybe I'm on the wrong train of thought here. I don't know. And if they've already advertised that strange device as theirs as being a miraculous new medical technology, when they fire it on animals all for nothing to happen, why it will be the most controversial fake news of the century. But three problems yet remain. One, what if they were try what if they try to fire the ray at humans during the stream? We need to show cute kitties and puppies if we want people to keep watching through to the to the experiment. That'll force them to fire the ray at cats and dogs to keep the public's attention. Genius! Now for problem two. Morning Bell News is a super massive corporation. How are we going to ensure that enough people to rattle such a powerful company watch the stream? Hmm, maybe we could advertise it, I don't know. Even if it's a stream of animal abuse, if only five people tune in, it will be gone before anyone else notices. I'm sure there's going to be more than five people. We'll use Flamingo. Naomi has around 150k followers and Daniel has around 90k. Hey, that's not bad. I'll have our marketing team work on boosting those numbers even th further. That sounds like a plan. Neither of them will be able to upload any photos to Flamingo while we're working on this. But until the day of the stream, I'll make sure both accounts attained international notoriety. Aha! And then we can use them to make sure people all around the world tune into the stream. That only leaves one final problem. How are we going to make sure nothing happens when they fire the ray? Yeah, like when they turn into humans, I'm confused. I don't know. We'll need everyone's help to solve this one. First, we'll need to make sure the device can't be used until the stream begins. I see, then we'll have to take out the glowing moss. Luckily, we happen to have a fungus expert living among us now. He should know what to do. Sounds good, best of luck. We do? Is that me? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you heard the lady. Ladies and gentlemen, our next stop is Mushroom and Evans. Oh, that's the fungal expert. That makes sense, I guess. You know, I was thinking, yeah, I'm really glad Lucy's on our side. Yeah, we would be very alone if we didn't have anyone helping us out, right? So thank God we got some peoples on our side. That's awesome. All right, well, let's go talk to the glowing moss expert. I don't know if he's an expert on the glowing moss, but he's definitely an expert on mushrooms. He's constantly munching those things down. I'm not surprised he hasn't turned into a mushroom at this point. He is absolutely crazy. All right, dude, he didn't want to talk to me last time though, so I don't think this is gonna go quite as smoothly as we would like. Yo Bruno, I need your help. Good grief, you must be out of your bloody mind if you think I'm ever going to help you out again. Of course, let me start by let me start over by apologizing. I'm truly, truly sorry. Fine, fine. William's already filled me in anyway. You want to know how to kill the glowing moss, right? I certainly don't like the idea of killing any type of fungus, but this is for the sake of saving the town, isn't it? Exactly. I'll make sure all the moss gets a proper morning. Is she joking? <laughs> I'm not sure. That sounded like sarcasm to me. <laughs> I reckon that glowing moss has the ability to absorb light. Ah, okay. Good grief. It probably evolved that way so that it could survive in dark places. But it probably can't survive it if it gets flooded with too much light. Too much light? Like, how much? 
Good grief, probably a few days worth of direct sunlight, I'd say. We don't have a few days worth of sunlight. <laughs> or oh, there's no way we're going to be able to do that. Mm, maybe John still has that doohickey of his. A while back, everyone in town took a group photo together. In order to make sure it turned out well, John gave this... John gave the camera this crazy flash. I think he called it the ultimate flash. Okay. Good grief, it was so bright, I couldn't believe it. Felt like the sun had fallen right out of the sky and into my lap. Are you exaggerating? That sounds crazy. So we just need to see John's ultimate flash. <laughs> that sentence just sounds so wrong on so many levels. <laughs> if he lends it to you, that is. Ugh. Good grief, just apologise like you really mean it. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, you're right. I'll be genuine. Okay, but what about the people that you kidnapped and have probably already been, you know, turned into permanent dogs and cats already, right? I hope that we are gonna be able to fix them up, right? Because no apology is going to make that go away or make that better, right? Okay, anyway, let's go and see this amazing invention. Invention number 65. Let's go and check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing what this thing looks like. Actually, it could be really interesting. All right, I have arrived. John, where are you? We've got trouble and you're the only one who can help. Hey, John. He isn't home? We're running out of time. All right then, you've left me no choice, John. I'm gonna have to sneak into your garage and borrow the ultimate flash. Oh boy. <laughs> Is this a good idea? I don't know. How are we even gonna find this thing? I bet he's got a million gadgets, you know, just floating around everywhere. This is the ultimate flash. If I take this back, then... Freeze! <gasps> is that a camera? What is that? <laughs> Oh, bugger off. First you treat mum like a murderer, and now you've come to rob us. Are you a complete monster? I agree with you. No. Don't even bother trying to milk sympathy out of me. You can't fool me twice. This gun I'm holding here is a new prototype. I call it the atomic... <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Disassemble... Disassembly... Bulator. Disassemblator. I got it, I got it. <laughs> God, that took a while. <laughs> One shot from this, and you can say goodbye to your body and hello to oblivion. I think. It's not been tested. <laughs> you really hate me that much? In that case, let me just say one last thing. Go on then, out with it. I'll at least let you say your piece before I dissembulate you. Okay, let's see. Hopefully she's gonna convince him. Please, just let me apologise for everything I've done thus far. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. You really think I'm stupid enough to believe? Is she really crying? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ugh, alright. Go on then. Shoot. Come on, do me, do me in one, will you? <laughs> now we can't do it. You just apologised for everything. If I killed you now, it'd only leave a bad taste in my mouth. John, you need my ultimate flash, right? William told me what's going on. Here, take it. I'll lend it to you. You sure? I don't trust you. In fact, I don't even like you. But honestly, you're probably the only one who can save my old dear now. And besides, my automatic dis... dis this assembulator can't so much as light a cigarette yet, so I'm going to place my bets on you, partner. Thank you, and I promise I'll make sure not to let you down this time. By the way, the wiring on the ultimate flash is a bit funny. It might break if you use it too many times in a row, so be careful. Okay, so it's limited. Alright, cool. Well, at least he warned us, so that's good to know, I suppose. Alright, we got our ultimate gadget. We're ready to do this, right? We're ready to take down this evil corporation. Is there anything else we need to do? Oh man. Oh gosh. They're actually doing like a whole parade for this. Oh damn. Okay. Oh, look at them all in there. Oh, we gotta save Norlock Homeless. <laughs> I really like him. And Lunette as well. And all the other townspeople stuck in that horrible cage. Alright, 
Let's see if we can fix this problem. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. You nervous, yuppie? I don't know, it sort of feels like I'm just watching all this play out from behind a screen or something. <laughs> like me? <laughs> a little late for that, don't you think? Anyway, check this out. All right, what have you got, my friend? That's my Flamingo Seriously? account. Holy crap, three million followers. I've never seen a number that big before. Holy moly. So no matter what weird stuff may be floating through your mind right now, there ain't no turn in, turning back, yuppie. We gotta do this, Naomi. Yeah, got it? Then let's head out to the square. You're the official photographer of this streaming event, remember? It's showtime, sister. Get out there and act like you're ready to do your job. I know, I know. Oh, and one more thing. I'm gonna let you in on the real journalist's secret to success. When you get to the point where you're thinking, oh no, I'm screwed, that's when you really gotta shine. And in that moment, all you need to do is... I'm not doing the lobster pose. <laughs> is that really what he was gonna say? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that would have been funny to see her do the lobster pose though. <laughs> It's not funny when you do it. <laughs> I want to see Naomi doing it. <laughs> it would be funny. Because she would feel so awkward. And uh, I think that would make a funny little cutscene. Alright, I am ready. Let's do this. Big operation. According to a press report released from Morning Bell, the massive media conglomerate based on New York City, I think I pronounced that wrong, at 11 a.m. or 4 p.m. GMT tonight. They plan to make a shocking, world-changing announcement. From the small town of Rainy Woods, located in northern England, dun dun dun, here it goes. The details have not been made clear yet, but the press report states the following. Up until this moment, the insular rural town of Rainy Woods has kept a miraculous therapy technique all to themselves. Thanks to the effort of Morning Bell's research team, this technique has been rediscovered using scientific technology. Hmm, what happens if that ray gun breaks though? <laughs> like, it wouldn't last forever, would it? I don't know. Rumours are currently circulating online due to a leak that states this therapy has the power to cure late stage cancer. If this is true, it means that the people of Rainy Woods have used tradition as an excuse to stand by and watch thousands of cancer victims die. Oh wow, they're just gonna like totally guilt trip the people of Rainy Woods, damn. In response to this, in response to this, a pediatric cancer specialist commented, claiming this to be inexcusable usable from any ethical perspective. Other late stage cancer specialists have also shared similar statements of disapproval. Oh gosh, okay. I see where this is going. Everyone's gonna hate on Rainy Woods. This gave birth to the open RW movement that is currently escalating on the internet. Open Rainy Woods, oh wow. And as we speak, debates continue to rage concerning whether or not late stage cancer treatment is actually possible. Meanwhile, a massive piece of graffiti art has been spotted on the wall of a hospital in Rainwood, Arkansas. <sighs> The movement is showing no sign of quieting down and some fear bigger problems are already on the horizon. Oh man, this is getting big. Does the miraculous treatment technique that hails from Brainy Woods actually have the power to cure late stage cancer? This is such a stupid claim, it really is. Countless eyes from all over the world are now focused on this quaint little town. Hmm, well, they're going to be very disappointed because it definitely doesn't cure anything. <laughs> We're 30 minutes out. Hurry, you miserable subhumans. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm ready. What do you want, subhuman? You're keeping me from my preparations. Get out of my sight. There's someone you need to meet, Doc. Sorry, but can I borrow just a few minutes of your precious time? Why is she in the floor? <laughs> She's not meant to be on the floor like that. <laughs> oh my god, what happened to you? <laughs> She's like, I'm just gonna merge with this flooring right here, don't mind me. <laughs> oh god, this is like the end like part. <laughs> why? <laughs> just why? Why would I ever need to sacrifice my precious time to meet some sub 
because they're the candidate to be the next mayor of this town. I see, and if they possess the wisdom to make good with a celebrity like me, then the election should be a shoe in I'll need to continue experimenting here for a while, so I ought to make sure the next mayor owes me something. So be it. I'll grace the candidate with my presence. Alright then, I'll go call them out. Who is the next mayor? <laughs> Who is she going to put up to this task, I wonder? Okay, you two, say cheese. Oh, the legendary sheep is here. Oh, William, really? Oh, wow. They both look evil right now. <laughs> Eyes oh, up here. <laughs> okay, I get it. You got evil villain laughs. All right, cool. <laughs> Lovely. Give me some poses that would look good on a poster. Do you really think manacle laughing would look good on a poster? I have no idea about that, but okay. <laughs> okay, let me try a different flash here. I'm going to snap a few more, so just try just to try some different angles out and the ray gun is right there i'm ready i'm ready am i gonna get get to take part Point in this the ultimate flash towards the glowing moss and smother it in light okay let's do it Point the ultimate flash at the glowing alien moss to drown it in light and kill it off. It should die after about 10 hits. You need to make sure you keep the flash aimed perfectly though. Use the finder to make sure you're always locked on to that target mark. Is this going to be like the drinking game where you have to like balance it? I get the feeling this is going to be very similar, but let's try this. What do I do? How do I do it? Switch lens? No. Like, oh, is it up here? It's up here, right? I gotta keep the, the like, plus sign on it, I guess? Alright, it's on. Okay, cool. I got it. I got it, like, spot on. Where does it- Oh, it moves. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. How accurate do I have to be? I have no idea. Alright, where's the next one? Gotta find it. Hello, little kitties and doggos. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is timed or what. Um... But yeah, yeah, it is timed. The little cursor is getting smaller and smaller. I missed one. No. Oh my gosh. I was taking my time. I need to be much faster. Does it matter if I get it in the red part? I don't think it does, actually. So I think it's fine. All right. I got seven out of ten right now. All right. Eight, nine, and ten. There we go. Done. But why was the flashes, like, not even near the moss? <laughs> Okay, all finished. Now for the password. Uh, that reminds me, William. Is that rumour about you and Ellen true? Excuse me? How dare you bring up such a thing? That's it. The photo shoot is over. Okay. <laughs> Who's Ellen? <laughs> I think she just made that up. Dr. Anderson, I'm deeply grateful that a genius such as yourself was kind enough to share so much time with me. You can thank me after you've won your petty little election. Don't let your mediocre limitations ruin this. Wow, he's got such a big ego, hasn't he? Seriously. All right, now I can sit back and watch this dumpster fire burn. All right, let's hope this goes according to plan. Oh, God. So sorry to keep you all waiting, squirming subhuman rabble of the world. Listen up. Rejoice, for you are about to witness a miraculous new form of medical treatment. In your wildest dreams, or even perhaps your darkest nightmares, you miserable creatures could never possibly imagine the phenomenon you're about to witness today. But in order for you subhumans to fully understand the importance of the experiment I'm about to perform, we must go back to 1940. Dr. Anderson, let me remind you that capitalist society values evidence over debate. I've prepared a segment to discuss the details of the experiment, complete with its own special flip chart. Hmm. Well, if my sponsor is that adamant about it, I suppose there's no harm in adjusting my schedule. Pay close attention, insects of the world. This very moment, Nicholas Anderson is going to change the future of the human race. Behold the power of science! Hmm, that's odd. Allow me to increase the output. Ha! What a shambles. They outdid themselves with the spectacle. 
but it was all a hollow pretense. If only the great Lizzie Borden could see this. I wonder if the max output level is 42. <laughs> but, but, but that's impossible! So be it! Full power! Ugh. Dreadful, huh? What is that man doing? This is animal abuse. Mr. White, you're the resident expert on Rainy Woods' history, right? Is it true this stinky little town has been hiding a miraculous cure for late-stage cancer from the world? Oh, if only. Then my beloved Yvonne would still be here with me right now. It's a lie? Nothing but a big fat lie? I'm afraid I'm far too old to have the energy to entertain such hearsay. What I can tell you is, that man there on the stage came up to me and said, Sell all the land you own to us. Morning Bell News knows exactly how to get the most use out of it. Then he passed me a large contract that already had Mrs. Kelly's signature. But when I politely declined, he tells me, So be it, not like it matters. You subhumans will end up handing over all your land to us for free anyway. Yes. That's what he said. You saying it was all just some heinous conspiracy? That the miraculous treatment Morning Bell News advertised was nothing but a bald-faced lie? They were trying to use this town to suck up people's cash with some phony medical facility. Then, they tried to push the hashtag open RW movement so you'd sell your land for cheap. They wanted Rainy Woods to be the most hated place on Earth. That's what all this ruckus was for? Whew, scary stuff, huh? As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this little country town is clean, peaceful. Frankly, it looks like your regular middle of nowhere town to me. Yet some big corporation spent a ton of money trying to crush this town using fake news. You're gonna let them get away with this? Your town might be next. Think about it. Any one of you suffer the same fate. It's time for us to rise up. Forget the hashtag open RW movement. Now it's hashtag save RW. Save Rainy Woods from fake news. Lobster! Finally, he actually said something decent. Oh my god. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> wow, there was a lot going on there. I really like how they reversed the whole situation. And I like that the rival actually like turned out to do something useful in the end because he honestly was driving me nuts. So, so I'm glad to see him do something productive for once. So, so that's great. So does that mean Morning Bell will no longer exist and Naomi won't have debts to play? to pay or will she still have those I don't know what's gonna go like what's gonna happen with her debts and also what's gonna happen with Elizabeth <laughs> I still want to know that too all right breaking news all right they are gonna be in hot water right now right save rw is gonna be trending oh yes the number one trending hashtag has just switched over to save rw nice <laughs> that's just what we were after right awesome people all over the world are rising up and advocating to save rainy woods Yay, our town's gonna be saved. Awesome. The masses are standing up to the hoaxes and monopolistic evil foisted upon them by those in power. Got all the angry emojis. <laughs> it's getting real, it's getting real now. People are gonna stand up. They can't stand for this. Tech team, what are you waiting for? I said stop the stream! What? It's going to take time to shut everything down? Uh, you useless morons! Just pull the wires out! Right now! Nicholas! Either end this stupid laser beam party!
party of yours right now, or get ready to defend yourself in court when I sue you to the moon and back. Well, which will it be? Surely your genius brain can work that out. But, but I just need my experiment to succeed. If it succeeds, then everything will. Dr. Nicholas Anderson. That's it. Right here, right now, you're fired. Next time you see my face is in the courtroom. What? 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 But that sounds really dangerous. That stuff is expensive. I don't want to be responsible for breaking it. The manual said to never stop a stream, even if you're getting flamed. All publicity is good publicity. So human. It was you! You did this, didn't you? <laughs> Turn me into content without my permission! <laughs> You subhumans rot in hell! You think I'm gonna let you go? You! Do something, you imbecilic blockhead! That subhuman over there has yet to pay off her debt! Now get over there and do your job! When that great lump kidnapped me, he said to me, he said, don't worry. The insanity this company's been up to will definitely catch up with them one day. And yet, he didn't help you lot out when you were trying to stop the Oh, insanity. that means morning bow, doesn't it? On the back of his head. <laughs> Honestly, nothing worse than a pathetic yes man. <laughs> this town scares me. Says the woman who brought the wrath of the internet mob on a massive news corporation. <laughs> Guess you're right. You! You're the one responsible for this! Don't think you won, little girl! You miserable excuse for a journalist! Oh no, I know I didn't win. But the people of Rainy Woods did. Screw you! I'm going to get my army of lawyers and crush you like the tiny, insignificant, pathetic punk you are! Great work, Naomi. Just leave the rest to me. I'll email you later. Phew. This the part where we get the happily ever after? Lobster! Did it, yuppie. We kicked their freaking asses. You know, the first time I saw you, I had a feeling you'd rise up to kick some ass someday. But you also seemed like the ultimate chowderhead, so I wasn't sure which way it was gonna go. Should've known my intuition was right on the mark. I'm amazed you can say all that with a straight face. Well, you still got room for improvement. A whole yacht load of improvement. So I'm gonna give you a little advice as your mentor here. The most important thing for you to learn is how to walk away from all the assholes in the world. Otherwise, they'll just trick you into a big pile of debt again. Okay, okay. But enough about that. We should be celebrating right now. You, me, all the pumpkins, we frickin' did it! Hey, Yuppie, what are you doing? Walking away from an asshole, just like you taught me. Later. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That was the best line. Lobster! <laughs> I really liked that last line that she delivered right there. <laughs> uh, several days later. Oh, there's a little bit more. Okay, okay. Let's see where it goes from here. The truth behind the man. Uh, Dr. Nicholas Anderson is an animal lover, apparently. Okay. What's that about? I don't even know. Uh, let's see. One woman and her radical town renewal project. Is she going to try and make the town better? The world speaks out. You've gone too far this time. Is this all um, Naomi's journalist like stuff like after the, the game? Uh, one freelance journalist and what she was able to accomplish. Did she really make it big? Dark rumors circulating animal welfare organizations. Do you think Morning Bell went out of business? Maybe. Uh, directors of Morning Bell News resign amidst allegations. Ah, oh, they resigned. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. Not recommended for the faint of heart. My trip to the infamous. I'm not really sure what that is about, but all right. Uh, an age in which video evidence means absolutely nothing. <laughs> what is all this for? What is all this about? Major social media services delete all traces of Rainy Woods scandal videos. Oh my. Okay, what now? Oh, there's an epilogue too. Okay, cool. Let's see where this takes us. I want to know about Elizabeth. It still hasn't told us. I want to know about that. All right, let's see where this goes. Is this really the ending you wanted? Not really, no. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, I would have been disappointed if it ended like that. Who cares? Not like I started this job because I really wanted to. All right then, if you're fine with it, then so am I. Meanwhile, I'm going to keep an eye on the whole Save W situation and see how it all pans out. So I'll be saying sayonara to this town pretty soon. I mean, not like I'm going to find anyone posting stuff about Save RW here. What are you going to do? I don't know, I'm still thinking. I figured you'd say that. Well, just make sure your journey of self-discovery doesn't take your whole life. What? I didn't make much sense to me just make your journey of self discover i don't know what he's talking about life's a lot shorter than you may think it is it's true later child ahead all right then so what are we doing now naomi after the stream morning bell news has stock price crashed understandable all of the management were prosecuted and resigned with ceo flora kelly at the forefront meanwhile Naomi signed a special contract with the new managers. I'm guessing Lucy took over Morning Bell, right? As part of that, Morning Bell bought Naomi's Flamingo account for a hell of a lot of money. Ah, so that's the debt problem sorted, right? In return, Naomi announced to the world that the entire stream was all just a fiction of her creation. She claims she staged the broadcast in an attempt to revitalize the small town of Rainy Woods. And so, with Naomi's confession, the curtain was finally closed on the incident. At long last, Naomi managed to pay off her debt and still had a nice amount left over from the sale. Obviously, such an admission meant she had to give up her role as a journalist. Oh no! That means she can't chase her dream of being a journalist anymore. So, well, I think that's the debt cleared off now, right? Yeah, and <laughs> we got two million reward as well, so that's not too shabby. It's not too shabby. Drinking this early in the day? It seems like you're really living the high life now, Na Naomi Hayward. But beer simply doesn't fit your character. I can't think of anyone else who would look better drinking absinthe right now i don't know too much about alcohol to be honest okay okay just tell me what you want we came to thank you on behalf of the entire town everyone's grateful for what you did and as their representative i feel it only suitable that i pass it on directly is william really becoming the mayor of the town he's such a wacko <laughs> thank you so much for all your help seriously wait hold on I'm the one who caused all the trouble to happen in the first place. You shouldn't be thanking me. I should still be apologizing. Are you mental? You aren't the only person Morning Bell News could have sent here. That's true. They could have sent someone with class, education, someone smart, resilient, hardworking, accomplished. 
<laughs> Charismatic, quick-witted, or a totally unscrupulous person for all we know. Yeah, I guess you're right. And you very well could have acted like a smart person had you wanted to, but you chose justice right up to the very end. Even if it did happen due, due to ephemeral happenstance, that's still enough for you to deserve our gratitude. Happenstance, huh? Yeah, who am I to say? Naomi Happenstance Hayward, humans are just like poems. Something born from the miasma, purely out of coincidence, that is what we call poetry, that is what we call life. You should be proud that within that something, you were able to find something good. You just never let up with the cheese, do you? <laughs> There's a lot of cheese in this game. Now that you have had more than your share of compliments, Miss Halfwit Dream Queen, where do you plan to go from here? Don't you think it's about time you took a step forward when it comes to taking back your life? Exactly. Now that you are a person of means, you cannot possibly spend all your days in a pub. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just stuck on the ultimate decision. The ultimate decision? Yeah, the ultimate goddamn hellhole of decisions. What? What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. That's right, Naomi. Just as you said, this is your ultimate decision. You've gained a lot while in this town. Even learned some things. But you've also lost a lot, haven't you? It's time for this tale to come to an end. But which decision, which ending, is the right one? Oh wow! There's a decision to make. Donate all of my money to the town in order to keep its secrets well protected. Run back to New York City and live out the rest of my life drowning in luxury. <laughs> Obviously A is meant to be the good decision, right? Uh, I get let's do that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I made my decision. Okay, cool. We're gonna donate all our money and Rainy Woods is gonna live happily. Oh my god, that's the fastest credits I've ever seen. It made me jump as well. Okay. <laughs> what on earth? This game just really catches me off guard sometimes. Wow. Th those have got to be the fastest credits ever. I swear to god. <laughs> Five days on from the stream. And hardly anyone was making posts using hashtag SaveRW anymore. Though later, some occultish kind of groups could be seen using it for their own purposes. Their posts mostly revolved around Kurtana, the glowing moss, and the vampire's blood. These have got to be out of place artifacts, they'd say, although it rarely caught on. And when a hashtag SaveRW-centric blog posted snippets from a Morning Bell News article, those small groups were completely snuffed out as well. In those Morning Bell snippets, it basically said that Kurtana, the glowing moss, and the vampire's blood could all be proven using modern science. I don't know where it's going with this. So all those occulty types couldn't rely on the hashtag to support their theories anymore. And they gradually moved on to hashtag lobster pose. Oh my god, why? Oh no. Oh no, that dude's gonna have so many fans after this. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be doing the lobster pose, oh no. Alright lads and ladies, raise your hand if you're not here. Good grief. How do you expect them to do that? Let's hurry up and get going already before my pies get cold. Let us begin this celebratory banquet at once. First, a round of applause for this town's new hero and the sponsor of this grand feast, Naomi Hayward. Well done. <laughs> I would ask for a toast, but before that, I have a very important announcement to make. Sorry, but once the drinking starts, no one will listen, especially our guest of honor. All of the money that Miss Hayward donated to our town will be used now and forever in protecting its secrets. And as thanks, we hereby declare that Naomi Hayward is now an honorary citizen of Rainy Woods. Congrats, Miss Honorary Whoa! Citizen! I always knew great things awaited you, Dane Haywood. Now then, on to the toast. 
Benedict, if you would please lead us. We are gathered here today, and I really have only one thing left to say. Cheers! 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 Elizabeth. She wasn't dead then. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, congratulations on completing Rainy Woods route. Naomi ended up losing her status as a journalist due to the Rainy Woods incident, but thanks to a certain crafty someone at Morning Bell, she managed to get her Flamingo account back. At one moment, she'd gotten over 3 million followers, a far cry from what she got now, but it's still more than enough for someone like her, right? Now she just needs to keep uploading photos so that steady stream of emokes doesn't dry up. With a little hard work, she might end up becoming yet another global influencer who lives in the middle of nowhere. I still believe in you, Naomi. And so she became penniless yet again. Wow, her life didn't change too much. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, I really want to know more about Elizabeth, so I really hope there's more for that. I've just been dying to know more about her. So we'll see. This is a really long ending, I have to say. So many cutscenes. Oh, that's right. I'm dead broke again. I should have kept a little for myself instead of getting carried away and saying I'd donate it all. Naomi, it's a fact of life that money comes and goes. It's true. Having wealth can bring richness to life. But what if you come to rely on it, eh? Go sod it. Who cares? As long as you're happy. Right. That's me done, I suppose. From here on, the story is yours to tell. Whatever happens though, Naomi, have a good life. I guess that's kind of a nice way for the storyteller to end it. Oof. Chasing pointless gossip in the middle of nowhere. Maybe this is the career most suited for me. Who is that? Oh, but Miss Naomi, do be careful not to drink too much. <gasps> What? You're... The last one left the special running shoes with What do you mean the last one? May I take them? <gasps> Thank you. I knew that going to Fancy and Bunny was the right choice. I feel like I could run a whole marathon in these. But... You... You're... Oh, and you're free to keep using your house in Rainy Woods however you please. It seems like everyone still has some favours to ask of you too. And perhaps there are even a few mysteries left for you to solve. I just hope you know you're free to stay in our town as long as it suits you. But... but I saw you. You... It wasn't a dream, was it? Happiness is something that travels from person to person. And this is Rainy Woods, the happiest town in the world. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. I'm confused. I don't get it. What? What? Rainy Woods is the happiest town in the world? A happiness is something that travels from person to person? Who cares? Say la vie! God damn hell! 
Yeah, I feel so confused. I don't know what happened there. I, I really don't get it. Like, what? How did... How did Elizabeth body swap like that? Like, what? And she was walking, too. I don't understand. What an ending. Like, it didn't even make any sense to me. I'm so confused. It doesn't... I don't feel satisfied because I'm confused. Like, I don't know. Like, I, th I feel this game is a wild ride. I feel like the first half of the game was definitely more fun for me. Personally, I really enjoyed the first two storylines, uh, Route A and Route B were my favourite. Then when we got to Route C, the stuff with King Arthur and all that stuff, and then the mad scientist stuff, it all just kind of felt all just mashed together. I know like there's a lot of like crazy stuff going on in this game, but that like second half of the game, I don't know, it just didn't feel... I, it didn't really, it just felt a bit messy, if that makes sense, um, but I know that this game is sort of all over the place anyway, but I don't know, just something didn't quite, um, I just didn't feel quite connected to the second half of this, and I have to say I am, I am shocked by the ending, and I still don't quite get it. I know there's multiple endings, but how much does it actually change? That's the question. Wow, what a crazy game. I did enjoy it, but yeah, I enjoyed the first half much more than the second half. It was an interesting experience. It's something that I've never really played before. Like, it's so unique and different that I had an absolute blast not knowing what was going to come next. I think that was kind of cool. I was a bit worried for quite some time that they weren't going to address the whole Elizabeth situation at all. But then when they did, it just made me even more confused. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. What a weird game. Weird and wonderful. That's how I would describe this game. Such a bizarre game. I kind of wish that they added like some kind of checklist for the cooking though because at the start, near the start of the let's play I was like yeah I'm gonna cook like every single dish in the game but then like as I kind of progressed in the game I didn't really feel that it was worthwhile doing, there was no way to keep track of all the dishes, like uh, there was no like storage for it, there was no checklist so it was really hard to keep track of the dishes that I had created and which ones I hadn't created so yeah it just kind of felt like a means to an end in the end so like I didn't I don't I didn't really bother like it just felt like part of like the um life simulation thing like the dishes were only there to eat them and make your character full again right which of course is what dishes are for right but I don't know I just wish wish there was some kind of checklist so then it would make me like go in like wanna get all the other dishes and stuff Okay, uh, photo evidence of the murder that occurred in Rainy Woods. I still can't believe such a brutal crime happened here. How can this be real? I don't know. Impossible to complete. Complete. <laughs> My quest was complete. Who are you? Hello? Hey, what are you doing here? Are you the developer? Swerty? I don't know. I'm, I'm a special reward for Kickstarter backers, Hoot. So I can't talk to you. Don't, don't understand. That's perfectly fine with me, Hoot. Huh? <laughs> what happened? I, I really wonder what Kickstarter backers got. For more details, try googling the Good Life Kickstarter. Yeah, I, I didn't back this, so I, I don't get the reward. <laughs> I wonder what they got. That's kind of cool. I like that. I guess that was meant to be like the developer then over there, um, I suppose. Um, but yeah, um, that was interesting. An interesting experience. Um, I really enjoyed it and I'm happy that it came to Game Pass so I was able to experience it because I'm not sure I would have tried this if it wasn't on Game Pass because it's such a bizarre game. But then I just saw it and I was just like, yeah, why not? Let's, let's go for it. And yeah, I really enjoyed my time with it even though it is very bizarre. I think I would have preferred the ending to be more 
more about Elizabeth and less about the mad scientist stuff that was like all going on and stuff. Um, I really liked the like house upgrades and stuff, but it really felt like the simulation aspects of this game were really just like a side thing that they just put in um, for whatever reason. But I have I didn't really spend like a massive amount gardening or cooking really. I was just doing it like I started doing it when I first played and then I kind of stopped with the gardening stuff and uh, the cooking just felt like a you know just something to fill your character up and that was basically it um, but yeah as I said I wish they had a checklist for it or something that would have been so cool but you know I would be interested in a sequel although I get the feeling they won't make a sequel it doesn't seem the kind of game that would get a sequel but it was a really interesting experience nonetheless and I hope you enjoyed this quirky little adventure as well okay we're going to do the alternative route as well I get the feeling that there is a C option um, that could be underneath B that I haven't unlocked and I have no idea how you unlock it to be honest but I reckon there's a third one too I don't know for sure but I just like I'm kind of assuming so uh, we're going to run back to New York City and live out the rest of my life drowning in luxury these probably don't change the story too much but let's just see yeah. what happens if you choose a different option all right I made my decision Okay, girl, let's see what happens here. Can I skip this? I don't know if I should. I'm just gonna leave this rolling. Okay, so this is a new cutscene that wasn't in the other route. Uh, now we can finally put the Rainy Woods scandal behind us. Thank you so much for everything, Naomi. It's Lucy. Right back at you, here's to the new CEO, Miss Lucy Turner. I thought that she might take over, um, you know, Morning Bell News, and I'm actually glad that she did, that's cool. The new CEO, Miss Lucy Turner. It's hard for me to believe it actually happened, it still doesn't feel real. Yeah, when you reach that do or die point, reality just goes out of the window. Trust me, I should know. I hope that's all this is. In any case, I promise that while I protect the position of CEO from evil, I'll also protect the secrets of Rainy Woods. Wait, this is like killing two birds with one stone then, because the other one was that I donate all my money to protect the secrets of Rainy Woods, but if you just get this lady as the CEO, she's gonna protect them anyway, so <laughs> I feel like this might have been the better ending actually, which is uh, surprising. Can't make any promises if I end up getting canned like our last CEO though. Yeah, then we're just out of luck. And if Flora Kelly 2.0 ever happens to appear, then I'm sure the Naomi Hayward 2.0 and Lucy Turner 2.0 will put their heads together and figure something out. That's great to hear. Yeah, you're right. Idiots like us are a dime a dozen after all. Exactly. Here's to us and the ordinary chaos that ordinary idiots like us can create. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right, let's get Crunk already. Yeah, crunk? Baby. Not something I've I've heard of. Please be the last time I ever have to hear her go, yeah, baby. <laughs> the city that never sleeps. I love you, New York. I've never been there, so I Cheers. wouldn't know. All right, have a nice drink. Wait, who's that? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> what? I got some badass shoes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shiny metallic shoes filled with incredible power. So cutting edge and stylish. They're sure to boost the abilities of whoever wears them. Okay, and I got a jacket as well. Look at all those buffs. Oh my gosh, all those buffs. Okay, Naomi ended up losing every last penny, but she still managed to somehow keep her hands on the cutting edge clothing that she brought on a whim. That looks cool. It may be a little bit too flashy for an idyllic town like Rainy Woods, but it'll definitely make her feel like a queen of style. In case you didn't figure it out already, the clothes will buff her t her stats a ton. I did see that. <laughs> this may help to make her future days in Rainy Woods a bit less torturous. Have a good life. And so she became penniless yet again. No, but why? <laughs> kind of sad that she like, you know, ends up having no money at the end. I'm not sure if this cutscene is going to be any different from the last route that we saw. But who was that weird guy who was like looking at me from beyond the door? <laughs> like, what was that about? Oh yeah, now I remember. Uh, how was I supposed to know that guy was a forward trading scammer? It's weird though. I don't even remember signing that contract. 
So she got scammed and lost her money. Oh my god, Naomi. That's really sad. Having too much money can tend to attract unforeseen dangers. Balance is important in all areas of life. You get the drift. Right, that's me done, I suppose. From here on, the story is yours to tell. Whatever happens though, Naomi, have a good life. Have a great life. Ah, uh, yes, I'm looking forward to trying those clothes out, actually. This is probably going to be the same, but I'll have a look and see if anything's different. Yeah, so the bit after that cutscene with Lucy was exactly the same as the previous route. So the only difference with the route B was that Lucy gets turned into a CEO and you get some pretty awesome clothing items as well. So yeah, we're going to go put those on. We also have an email as well that I'm going to check out too to see if that has anything like interesting to say, but we'll, we'll see what happens right that'll be interesting um but yeah i still feel very confused about the whole elizabeth situation um apparently happiness travels from person to person does that mean elizabeth wasn't happy and then we somehow made her happy or something by helping the town and i don't know it traveled to the horrible ceo person i don't know i don't really get it but yeah we got this cool jacket um, boost the abilities of whoever wears it. I wonder how much it actually boosts our abilities by. Actually, let's have a look. Oh, my health is so much lower, <laughs> though. But this one does, um, yeah, my, my health is like a square lower, but I think it has like more buffs on it that help, like the stamina bar actually is bigger yeah the stamina bar is way bigger so that's cool it doesn't look as impressive when she's wearing it actually it looked really shiny in the pictures and now it doesn't look as shiny <laughs> sad <laughs> oh well. well at least you get some clothes for it that's kind of cool and there is an email here greetings Greetings from the Rainy Woods Info Hub. To our beloved readers, we're very sorry for not sending any newsletters in such a long time. We are forced to make a very sad announcement. This will be the last issue of the Rainy Woods Info Hub newsletter. Ah, uh, the only explanation we can give is that our decision to end the newsletter is related to the Save RW movement. We would like to thank you for all the support. Have a good life. Aww. <laughs> that was charming. This game is charming. I just wish that there was is more of a conclusive um like ending to the whole elizabeth thing because i don't feel satisfied because i don't understand what they were going for with this happiness thing moving from person to person so i don't know it was an interesting experience though and i'm going to stop the episode here for now Thank you so much for watching. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click on the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time.